Um, hello everybody, my name is Alex Arts. Um, I wanted to talk about um, the Steven Universe special that came on um, a day ago, um, Change of Heart. Um, I really wanted to talk about um, how Rose, I mean um, Pink was in Time Out for like years and years and years in um, that dark room because it kind of shows you how um, everything she did just didn't please the diamonds she liked her getting life she um, most likely made her own life the pebbles um, and um, she um, always wanted to please the her family and they only saw her as the jester of the royal family. Like, no one took her seriously. But I think her power, which is um, heart, um, is the emotional, compassional part of a uh, family. So she's kind of like the glue, which is kind of the strongest part of a family is the compassion and heart and um, positivity because you can see how a person is feeling on the inside versus how they act from the outside which is how White Diamond is she thought that um, everything needed to be done in a certain order everything needed to be perfect everything needed to be running smoothly and anything that didn't fit would um, just get removed from the um, spectrum. Um, the when um, when Diamond um, removes Steve's gym, I kind of thought there would be more um, uh, pain because. Um, Steven, Steven's human DNA is fused with his gym DNA so I thought if you pulled out his gym you're kind of pulling out strands of his DNA throughout his body and his um, probably his cells because it's within his whole entire body and I thought that would hurt more but it didn't until I realized that Steven was um, practically almost dead when he came out. And then Pink Diamond, no, not that Pink Diamond, um, Pink Steven um, was pretty much all of the repressed rage toward the diamonds, all the torment, all the pain that he had towards him. So that's why um, when um, Pink Steven re, um, responded saying she's gone like you couldn't really hear it it's kind of like when you get in trouble with your parents and you are so upset that you can't really speak so you don't really um, speak up against them but then the parent angry parent says um, what happened and you um, you burst out and you say you say it lot, super duper loud and you shattered, you actually, you're actually uh, hurting their feelings when you say it like that. But I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of funny when he said, no, she is gone the way he did because it's like, he's been trying to tell you that since like probably season four, season, no, no, wait, no, season one, he's been probably saying that uh, Rose is gone. And then, like, later season, he's like, Pink is gone. And then he's, he's been trying to explain that to um, the Crystal Gems. And it took a long time to figure it out. Try to explain it to Jasper. Try to explain it to Aquamarine. Uh, try to explain it to the Zircron. Try to explain it to the Diamonds multiple times that they still didn't get it. So when Steven la the Pink Steven lashed out and said she's gone, it's like... That's like the realization that practically <laughs> um, gave White Diamond an unbalanced, an um, 
everything. That's why she almost fell over and lost control. Because she got the um, um balance. And then um let's see, I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna say. Um when uh, White Diamond was blushing, I thought that was a sign of frustration that she um was unable to fix what she thought was the problem. And it turned out that everyone but pink was the problem because when you it's it's kinda like um Hierarchy, hierarchy in any environment, a job, high school, you know, it's like you come across people who think they're perfect and they always try to put that on to other people to make, make sure that they think that they're perfect and they need to be perfect, even though they can be their own person in the workplace or um, school. Um, and Stephen um it's blamed everything it's like um she's not perfect too but the fact that she said that she was supposed to be perfect that I was supposed to do this I was supposed to do that means that there is something much bigger than white diamond especially since they have to make a diamond mech because if they have a diamond mech that means all the diamonds have to work together to put their strength into one thing to fight something so um that's that and then there were some cool fusions rainbow of course 2.0 the old lady middle-aged lady um what was the other one smoky quartz then you had um then you had um sunstone the see what went um sunstone i got major kool-aid man vibes from that because i because i was like man i just need to see a scene where she just busts through a wall and says oh yeah but i was like he just looks like that character so much but yeah i was expecting more from a garnet um Steven fusion because when Amethyst and Garnet fused, you got Sugalite, and that was huge. But when Garnet fused it with Steven, you get something kind of kind of small but fiery, which is pretty cool. But now I'm waiting for a Lapis Paradox fusion and a Paparaccia Sapphire fusion. Because a Paparaccia and Sapphire, if they fuse, you pretty much have a... um. You pretty much have a gym that can figure out their mistakes, fix it, and almost never really um, mess up a step because they can see their past past fails and um, change according to what they did in the past. Then they can see what they, they can't or cannot do in the future. So it's like they can change. So they can almost not fail. So I think that fusion may not ever happen because then they'll be too perfect. Um then you have the obsidian fusion. Um I was kind of expecting that to be a little bigger, but it was pretty cool how they did the fire sword, which is awesome. And um also when um the fiery eyes, a lot of things. I always thought that was pretty cool, but I think that's like the closest they can get to um, powering the diamonds or being close to a diamond. This is pretty cool. I kind of thought that, um, I kind of thought that Connie kind of got kind of, well, um, she got kind of cocky when she was always trying to always um cut Steven off and what he was trying to say to the diamonds and he like I'm trying to protect him and I'm trying to do this. I'm like first of all, Connie, you're on a planet with alien life forms and you're trying to speak um freely like you have power over them. So if they really wanted to they could like like just kill you just instantly. So 
If I was an alien, I mean, if if I was a human on another planet that was light, literally light years away from Earth, I wouldn't say hardly anything. <laughs> because it's not my place. It's more Steven's place to say something because he's one of them. Like Bisma said, he's one of the lions in the lion's den, so he has a word there. Connie doesn't. Connie can only say stuff probably to the Crystal Gems, so they can say it to the Diamonds, which would have made more sense. Because Connie could have just died from yellow electric powers, blues emotional manipulation. Only problem is we noticed that blues power didn't work on Connie. But have you noticed that yellow and white didn't even really attack um, Connie one on one? Like yellow didn't use her electricity power straight on Connie. White didn't personally just shock Connie with like a mind mind white. I'm pretty sure that would have worked because humans so far in this solar system or galaxy have the most complex brains. So if she used our mind wipe, she would have destroyed Connie's brain. Probably to the point of no repair because she probably went and gone beyond because because uh, over eons of experience with mind, she probably would have destroyed Connie's um, mind that she had built up within like a few years of her life. So she probably would have destroyed her mind. And Connie is up, is trying to fight. So I think they went, well, they went, Cartoon Network went like PG on it. So they, you know, they didn't show the blood. They didn't show too much pain and suffering. They didn't show Connie being a lot skinnier because she didn't eat because they were there for a few days and they didn't eat anything but candy. That's okay, but there probably wouldn't have been a lot of growing up because for one, they just took a ship at the speed of light to get to a planet. So they probably would have puked after that trip. Connie and Connie would. Um, they didn't eat so they would have got nausea. Um, they were locked in a dark room. So her, her skin color would have changed a little bit. It would have got kind of pale. Um, Connie probably would have passed out a couple times. Because like, like Blue Diamond said, starving? So they don't know the process of people eating food. Which means they don't have water. Which means they don't have regular animals to turn into food. Which means that Connie was probably close to passing out a couple times. Because she was fighting and always trying to speak up against... The, um, speak up for Steven. And she didn't hardly eat any food within that time period. So it's like, how in the world did she not die? Just from exhaustion. It's, it's like a miracle that Connie's alive in so many ways. <laughs> but it was also pretty cool how Paparazzi was acting like a fa like a like a fangirl from the a fangirl shipping two characters like when Lars and Sadie got together. You're like, I predict that Lars is gonna talk to Sadie. I predict that La that Lars is gonna mess up on his words. I'm just like that's straight up. A straight up a fangirl or a mom that's just not um, happy that they're uh, that the kids are getting together. Um, I feel like season six is gonna take a long time because this seriously looked like the series finale. It really didn't look like they were gonna add another season to it, but if they do, they need to show Amethyst's backstory of why she has a whip and not a uh. A helmet because the whip is is um like showing obedient like uh, like I'm the boss I'm the leader so you need to pay attention to me and that's pretty much the whip in um, homeworld so you gotta figure out why she has the whip but then we gotta figure figure out some gaps um the pearl switching um why did um why Diamond not recognize um, our Pearl? Why didn't 
Pink Pearl recognized that Steven was has pink skin. There was there was nothing there. There there was just nothing. It confirmed our theory that they switched pearls, but it didn't confirm it didn't confirm it through talking. Like Pink didn't say, Oh my diamond, we've been doing this and that and you didn't recognize me. That's why I almost broke away from the spell of White Diamond at the dance because I was like, man, I want to dance with you. you no, know, I was here. You could have said, hey, White Diamond, can I dance with you? And dance with your pearl? And then White Pearl didn't say anything about White Diamond except that she's beyond the other diamonds. She's different. So I'm like, they can kind of like, squeeze the, they kind of, I feel like they should have added like maybe one more episode to explain that. Now they did they did a good job when they um revived the corrupted gems and then it was kinda of funny how Jasper was like, ah, It's you the runt ah, I mean um ah, the Steven thing creature and then you know them was like bitch that's pink and then Jasper's like ah, ah. this whole time I've been beating up my own diamond. Ah. <laughs> that was kind of funny, but yeah, I, I I really enjoyed the episode because it's just amazing how much they came. But if you take the hiatus, the hiatuses that were four to six months, we pretty much waited at least probably from two thousand fifteen from nineteen. We probably waited. Two or three months. Because for some reason Cartoon Network doesn't show reruns. And another another thing is that Cartoon Network kind of limits time slots for Steven Universe. Because I mean Cartoon Network right now, um, they don't even show re they really don't show reruns for Steven Universe, which kinda makes me upset because there are people who just became fans of the show and they can't even see the previous episodes of Steven Universe. It's like, seriously, just put some on at the end of um, of the day of Cartoon Network at from 6 to 7, show reruns. Just show reruns. It's not that, you know, I don't think it's that hard. And... If they wanted to, they can put it, probably squeeze it on our Adult Swim. Because I don't... Steven Universe is, in, is like an in-between cartoon. It's graphic and it's kiddish. Childish. Kiddish, innocent, ignorance, arrogance, creativity, uniqueness, um, individuality, stuff. So it can actually squeeze through Cartoon Network and Adult Swim if it really wanted to. And then it takes months to make an episode, but still, look at how many episodes they made. It's it's kind of upsetting that they can't show maybe a, the Cookie Cat or um, the episode where they were in the maze and the um, temple, um, temple. The temple did their thing. So I'm like, man... Cartoon Network, I swear to God. But the cool thing is, is that we don't have to wait too long for a um the the movie. It's fall, which is at the least um, September at um the longest wait we'll have to wait since they said fall. Now they didn't say winter; they said fall. So the latest thing I'll probably show that movie is probably um, December. And they can change it. And I'm thinking that it has something to do with that treasure chest in Lion's Mane. There was probably a gem out there. Who thought that they could have been, they should have been the pink diamond. And she was powerful enough to probably take out uh, Rose. 
in pink herself. And um, that's probably what was shown in that um, diamond maze that Rose had to use the mirror to um, tell her how to defeat this gem. And it did. And it's probably in that chest. That heart-shaped gemstone is probably in that treasure chest locked up for a reason because it's so powerful that it can take out diamonds. And it's not even a diamond. It can take out diamonds. Because that was probably either a overpowered gem or it was supposed to replace pink diamond right after she was supposedly shattered the diamond authority they made a fake me out diamond and it was insane it was like destroying everybody and killing humans and making sure nothing was around so they can redo earth to, to um how it's supposed to look for homeworld but uh i guess rose and the crystal gems figured out a way to stop her and maybe maybe the crystal gems probably forgot about it because it was so long ago but once it opens up maybe steven got curious and um opens up looks like oh look it's a heart valentine's day maybe or um he just thought it was cool. Just touched it and just pew, poofed open. It seems all like, oh, hey. And then it just beats up Stephen all of the damn. And he's like, shit. Like, ah. And then he gets out, get out of line. He's like, hey, everybody run away from line. Line's like, wait, but ah. And then a big, like, um, really um, fierce gym comes out and just starts going off on everybody. Like, I should have been the diamond. I should have been the strongest. I want to show you what the, what a pink diamond should have been, you know, kind of um, um, tempting to beat up every single dot, everything that um, disobeys her authority. So she might um, she might force the revived gems to follow her, and not the crystal gems. So then you have everybody all confused and starting a civil war on Earth. And possibly a civil war on Homeworld if they get the word out that um, the replacement pink diamond has returned. And the diamond authority might be like, shit, man, I forgot about this diamond. I forgot that we made this freaking insane gem that almost killed everybody. Like, it killed almost us. Well, that is my theory. Goodbye.